what is pretexting in cyber security in this video we will try to understand that attackers often use phishing scams to deceive a victim into divulging sensitive information or installing malware on the victim's computer attackers often use social engineering techniques to perpetrate phishing scams social engineering refers to the psychological manipulation of people to deceive them into performing malicious actions like installing malware or divulging sensitive information which otherwise the victim would not be doing and pretexting is one such social engineering technique that attackers often use to perpetrate phishing scams what are social engineering attacks and how do attackers use various techniques to perpetrate a social engineering attack we have already discussed that in detail on the website of the security body interested viewers may find the relevant links in the description in pretexting an attacker disguises as a person or authority who may victim can trust and exploits that to gather sensitive information from the victim for example an attacker can disguise as a person from a reputed bank and ask the victim to provide his banking details the attacker may even use the bank logo in the email communication and use other personal information about the victim in order to convince the victim and deceive the victim into providing sensitive banking details attackers thus may collect sensitive information from a victim and exploit that information to perpetrate financial fraud identity fraud or perpetrate even more cyber attacks on the victim how to protect oneself from pretexting if you receive a suspicious message please verify the email address of the sender first before responding to the message do not take unsolicited help from a company if you have not requested any assistance from them attackers often disguise themselves as employees of a trusted company to deceive victims do not click on suspicious links if you are not sure where the link points do not disclose sensitive information over emails if you are unsure about the sender of the email and last but not least configure firewalls properly use anti malware programs from trusted sources and update them regularly i hope this helps interested viewers who want to know more please visit the website of the security body or refer to the book phishing detection analysis and prevention interested viewers may also refer to the playlist information security the security body also provides many cyber security courses the relevant links are provided in the description you can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos